Hidden away in one of Australia's coldest and windiest towns is a prison with a dark and troubling past. This is the story of Coma Correctional Center, a place that for decades was said to be used as a testing ground with one disturbing goal, to eliminate homosexuality from society. Coma Correctional Center, located in a remote town of Coma, New South Wales, has been around since 1873. And over the years, it served different purposes. But one of its most sinister roles is still surrounded by mystery and controversy. It's claimed that during the mid 20th century, this prison became a place where men convicted of homosexual acts were put through so-called treatment. Back when homosexual was illegal in Australia, men found guilty of these acts were often sent to Coma Correctional Center. But this wasn't just a regular prison sentence. These men were reportedly subjected to various treatments designed to cure them of their homosexuality. And this included aversion therapy, a cruel practice where they were exposed to unpleasant things while being shown images or thinking about homosexual acts. The idea was to create a negative association with their sexual orientation and force them to change. In Coma's remote location and harsh climate made it an especially tough place to be locked up. The cold, the isolation and the bare bones conditions only added to the psychological and physical toll on those imprisoned there. Just imagine enduring those conditions while also being put through treatments that were nothing short of torture. So why did this all happen? At that time, society didn't view homosexuality as an identity, but as a bad behavior that needed to be fixed. The authorities believed that by putting men through these treatments, they could get rid of homosexuality in society. And fortunately, of course, we now know these practices were not only ineffective, but also deeply wrong and inhumane. And today, the alleged practices at Coma Correctional Center are widely condemned as violations of human rights. The treatment of LGBTQ plus individuals in this way is an extremely dark chapter in Australia's history. While much has changed since those days, homosexuality is no longer a crime and LGBTQ plus rights have come a long way in Australia. And the legacy of Coma reminds us why it's so important to keep fighting for equality and human dignity. As we look back on the past, let's remember those who suffered in places like Coma Correctional Center and honor their legacy by making sure such injustices are never repeated. Thanks for joining me in uncovering this dark but important part of history. If you found this story as shocking and important as I did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with others, and consider subscribing for more deep dives into LGBTQ plus culture, dating, and history. And let's keep this conversation going in the comments. What do you think about this dark chapter of history? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.